13 frame. Robert begins to break. Yeah, thank you, Ian. Well, in his uh, semi-final match, uh, Sean Murphy decided to change the tactics and play a more aggressive safety, more aggressive game. But I think, Dominic, that it's not a change of tactics he needs. It's He needs to take advantage of the opportunities he's getting. And every frame he seems to get an opportunity, but he's not making the most of them. No, you're absolutely right. He's getting opportunities and he isn't scoring. He's losing position inexplicably. Rob Milkins is beginning to pick up the pieces and grow and grow in confidence. Daylights between Rob Milkins and Sean Murphy now. Two Hello, frames Rob. advantage. So he's got a little bit of breathing space. That was a good red from Robert Milkins. Robert Milkins and I'm right down the line of the shot. And Sean Murphy is snookered on all reds. Yeah, just confirming what Dominic said. It's an easy escape on the face of it. Come off the left-hand side cushion, nestling to the main cluster below the pink. Or, while well, he's coming the other way, well, he's trying to come off four cushions. Well, a good hit, but to me that was a bit risky. He could have left the red to the left middle, one to the right corner. But at first glance, it looked safe enough. I think had that red not been so close to the black, Rob may attempt the red to left centre here to play for the black, but it's very dangerous with that red near the black. It would be too easy to leave on, so just tapping into the back of the group of reds. Oh, I wonder how long this tip tapping will continue. Can Sean play safety into bulk here, I wonder? No. Easy run back to the ball came for Robert now. Sean's left in this option. He doesn't want to be messing about this end of the table. Oh, and Robert won't be happy with that. It's in the brown, full in the face. Not left a pot on, but an easy safety for Sean. Where's the black guy? Foul, believe? seven. Robert Milkins. Yeah, a hundred attempts at that and that wouldn't happen. And foul committed and Robert, without any hesitation, says, well, play again, but this red doesn't pot, surely. No. And that's typical Robert, really. He didn't have come round the table. He didn't have a look. Well, he's overhit it, but will the yellow come to his rescue? Not quite. Now, is Sean going to play an attacking safety, I wonder, here, and just open up the bunch of reds and put some pressure on the safety shot of Rob Milkins? The problem is when you play these shots, it's easy to leave a ball near a pocket somewhere. Oh, if anything, he's made things worse. The black's tied up now. Pretty good cue ball, though.
shot. Just rolled past the brown, so no snooker. Terrific pot. Where's the cue ball going? One. Not in the pocket, but not really good on the colour. This for me is where you start to consider the emotions, the feelings oh, of the opponent. Sean Murphy is under a lot of pressure. No need to push the boat out to take a difficult yellow okay, in the right centre and to miss it. That was a very skillfully played roll up behind the brown from Rob Milkins. Keeping the pressure on Sean Murphy, that's exactly what he should be doing. That was a good hit. Is it touching? It could make touching. a big difference. It's touching ball. So we're trying to get in behind the brown here. It's a good line. Just a little bit short of pace. There's a gap. Foul and a miss for Robert Milkens. Well, he's having it replaced. There was a possible pot on there. Yeah, Robert, thank you. Kalikats is very thin, of course. Was it much too thick? It hasn't left anything. Once again with his safety, the target is the brown. brought the black into play so this safety exchange a rather important one now well, didn't intend to cannon the blue of course four ball cannon would have been a calamity but as it is Rob Milkins can pop this red past the black into the left corner with a seven Frames to five lead. I think I fancy him knocking it in. He has. Oh, it could have been better. He'd be a little bit disappointed there, Rob Milkins. Yeah, but just about on the yellow. Just overrun it. Three. There was a possible red to the left middle, but too dangerous to take on, surely. He's having a look, but if he misses it, I think he'd leave Sean a, a pot. So too risky. Robert Milkins, three. Definite chance here for Sean Murphy to play good safety. Need some cover with the blue. Oh, I think he's got it. 
Yes, he has. Again, I'm down the line of the shot. Rob can't get through to that red. Well, in the end, just a little bit fortunate to have covered the red. But now that he has, Rob Milkins has a problem here. Chance there to put Robert in a spot of bother, but missed with that cue ball running into the yellow. The red that's above the pink spot looks to me as though it will pot into the right corner. I don't think the cue ball will be running into the black or anything else. I think this is a shot to nothing into the right corner. There is the red. The top red of all the reds that remain. Maybe Rob does think that he may just cannon into the black, perhaps. Well, we're always looking at certain things. I think there's a three ball plant here. I think Robert Milken is. Has missed a trick. They're just off straight, but they're so close together. Clean it, yeah. They can be reversed. Yeah. yeah I can see this it. shot was on for Robert. He didn't see it. Sean's having a good look. You'll go very close, this. Absolutely agree with you, John. And oh, and you miss these. You don't spot them for your opponent and they knock them in, they really hurt. Well, and then it went, played it. In full conviction. But Rob Milkins won't be too displeased now to see that his opponent, Sean Murphy, doesn't have position on a colour here. Surely he wouldn't attempt a, a pot here. Brown. Brown ball. Oh, he's nominated Brown. He's trying to roll up to it, leave the snooker, but having to trust the table. That always looked too pacey. My Short goodness, Murphy. that was a little clumsy. Well. I have to say. couple of possible pots, but they don't look as though you can get the cue ball back to the ball can in playing them. So I thought it was too risky. I has been very good today, Dominic. He's playing these two safeties. Red in the middle of the table is possible, but can he avoid the kiss on the second red? Just the second leg, it's a straight position. Now, there's a real pressure shot coming up. The black. Enough to do much with the cue ball. Pot the black, black bound to be on the red. Pressure on this. Oh, the red in that time is absolutely good. It really was. He didn't expect a cannon, another red four ball, but to stun it in from distance and take the cue ball around the angles was exceptionally good. But a great Nine. black as well to follow it up, and Sean Murphy from almost nowhere 
There's an opportunity here. Now, I'm just wondering if that black will pot into the right corner. Probably doesn't. So, it will be beneficial here for Sean to get that blue back onto its spot. You can see that black certainly isn't available. Fourteen. Fifteen. Well, John, do you think there's value here in trying to bring the black into play? Absolutely. Particularly now he's come too thin on the blue. How's your look, Sean? Twenty. Well, the black was released and then went back and tied up. He can't get through to this red. He's got the red to the far left corner. I think Sean will be feeling at the, the moment the poles are not running too kindly for him. Thank you, Ron. It's going out to pot. You and I both know when you miss so many opportunities to win frames you should win and you don't take them. Things can just go against you at times, and I have done again there. There is a red on into the right centre, but Sean is a little unlucky. 25. Not on anything easier than this. Thirty-one. Good shot. Now the hard work starts. Two reds near the left-hand side cushion. No avail. Well, the one near the cushion is, but be hard to pot that and get position on the colour. The two reds to the right of the black are not advantageous. The red near the yellow, likewise. Thirty-two. He's landed nicely on the blue. Now you play a soft cannon on these two reds. Well, maybe he's thinking if he pots the green, he can just get past the yellow. Doesn't look like from where we are, the alternative is to play a little soft cannon on the blue to these two reds to the right of the black. Oh, he's just from by the black. He's still got a red to the 37. right corner. Oh, and he can get through to this one. That was the one he wanted 38. to be on. Yes, yeah, didn't play it particularly well, though. Straight on the black. That's what Sean wanted, but he pots it anyway and held the cue ball nicely. This has been a terrific break. He's made it from nothing. 45. 30 points the lead. But still... 59 remaining. Whoa, tremendous shot. Tremendous shot. Needs that cue ball to slow down. Yes, he's okay. He's on the brown. Flick those two reds into play. Could be the frame winner. Well, John, how many times have we seen Sean Murphy do this when his back's against the wall? It's all out attack. 51. This black will put him 43 points in front. Just 43 remaining. So one more red required. Wonderful contribution, this, from Sean Murphy. It really is top draw. Didn't look home when he came to the table. Snooker's required, wonderful stuff. 59. He needed a bit of magic, and he's produced. Well, now on the 
red, but it won't matter. 64. 49 points to lead. No way back to the table you wouldn't have thought for Robert Milkins, whether this red was in or not. Well, Sean just took it off the table. Robert was playing his seat, I'm sure. Sean Murphy, 64, and the frame. And he does, and he can see as well. That was a bit more like the magic from the magician. Still one behind, though. 7-6 Milkins. Thank you. Second down, please. The 14th frame. Sean Murphy to break. Thank you, Ian. Sean Murphy breaks off for frame number 14. Last frame that he won there was the best frame he's played to date. Terrific courage in the face of adversity. And is he eyeing up this potential long red to the left corner, I wonder? He is. Long way off. Now, needs some luck. And he's not going to get any. Chance here for Robert Milkins. One. Straight on the black. That shouldn't bother him. Play for the red to the right middle. And get a nice angle on the blue. And then all out cannon Eight. into the pink, bring all the reds into play. Nine. We should have had more of an angle than this. Well, can he stun down or will he have to run round off two cushions? Got to get into the cluster, there's nothing available. He's running round off two cushions. And he's got a pot to go at. Fourteen. Clattered into those reds and nothing really moved. As you say, it does have one cuttable red. 
I was hoping for something easier. Where's the cue ball? Oh, just nudged off the bottom jaw, that's a help. And this time is absolutely perfect to play the cannon. Just checking the pack, make certain there's no plants. Full blooded into the pink. It's turned out good. 20. Twenty-one. Perfectly on the blue. Black available into the right corner. All about controlling the cue ball. But first and foremost, and draw this pressure, keeping your composure. And just look at if he just Holds the cue ball about there, leave himself a straight red to the left corner. The black is available to the right corner. Anxious look. I think he's six. okay though. I think he's perfect. He is. Twenty seven. Had Rob been just above the black, he could have stunned into the red next to it to leave a better angle on the two to the left corner. So he's got to be a little bit careful here with his positional play. 34. Thirty-five. Forty-two. No, it's an easy red. You just got to get the nice angle here. Forty-three. So what's he do? Can he screw back and play for the red just to the left of the black in the same pocket? Or does he have to play a cannon? Played the cannon. Played it perfectly. <laughs> Well, considering the way Sean 50. Murphy won the last frame, this is a superb riposte from Rob Milkins. But needs this cue ball to keep travelling. 51. Oh, he had so much room to play with there. He's a foot short. Well, it's handy that red is near the right corner because all in all, it shouldn't be a problem. Yes, but, you know, as you alluded to a few times about the pressure of the situation, you know, if it had been perfect on the blue, could have just dropped it in, got close to this red near the corner. Now, as you see, he's pointing his cue, but he's going to play, have to play it from distance. And in these situations, anything is missable. 56. That's the lead, 56. So he's now straight. He's straight on the black. Where does the next red come from? Does that rightmost red pot into the left centre? He's having a look. This black to go 64 points in front, but there's still 75 remaining. Mm, he's touching the other red. He's had a look, does it go left middle, does it go right corner? 54. Well, he's played as if he thinks it may go to the right corner. Has he run far enough? Red the collar needed. 
He's gone far enough. The question is, does the red go? He's touching the, the red to the left of it. Does it squeeze into the pocket? I'm not too certain. Well, he's having a look at the double on the red near the right side cushion, but he's got to be leaving that there with the lead that he has. This red to right corner, well, it certainly pots, as long as he can get past the other reds to the potting angle. But he is slightly hampered by the pink. Well, he's convinced himself it doesn't pot. Well, we just got the away from Suki's required in this game. Played the safety. Waiting, hoping. He gets another chance. Will he? Head over the corner, Sean needs cover, not got it. Well, I say not got it, has it just run far enough? Has the green come to his rescue? It has! It has! Not dropped, Sean Murphy would have had a great chance to get back in this lane, but it dropped. Now, 65 ahead, 67 still left. This yellow and any red to go within a frame of the title. Good pot, and this is the red he needs. Three. in Sean Murphy I don't think will be returning to the table now too many yeah. snookers are required four of them in fact just a tight Sean Murphy at the point of no return Robin McGinn's Elam yeah, Sean Murphy nods his head. Oh, yes. He's doing his best to keep the pressure on Rob Milkins, but Rob Milkins keeps responding. A break of 64 takes him to 8-6 ahead, just one frame away from the title of Bet Victor Welsh Open champion 2023. Hardly surprising. He's leaving the auditorium to compose himself. I don't blame him.
thank God for the goals of it. Thank you. Thank you. The fifteenth frame, Robert Milkins to break. Well, it seems a long time ago now, one o'clock this afternoon, when we said that this was the biggest match of Robert Wilkins' yeah. snooker career. And we were wondering, could he handle the pressure? We're here now, he's one frame away from victory. Every credit to him. He's got to get over the line, we know that. But what a magic moment it will be for the man from Gloucester. I was going to say, he's going to get a chance and without having to do anything, he's got a chance. It's whether he can hold himself together. Okay, he can't get to the one to this left corner, but one to the middle or far left corner. Oh, well, that's a chance. Missed. Six. Seven. Sean had to be careful here in cannoning these reds. Thank you. It would be easy not to be on anything. Settle down, no place. You should cannon the middle red of the three and try and... Advance the cue ball up towards the pink spot a little bit. Well, the cue ball's found a gap, but he's okay. The one thing 14. important at this stage of a match, and when you're in, while well, Sean is here, you know, we raise the the score line out of your mind. Fifteen. Just concentrate on what's in, in front of you. It's a decent chance. But don't let any negative thoughts creep in. Thinking, well, I've got to win this, and I, well, I've got to win in this frame, and then the next two. Frame at a time. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. That flat didn't go into the middle of the pocket. He's overrun it. Is this red closest to cue ball still go? Is he playing a plant? Oh, it just goes. Don't think that was a ready play for, in all honesty. But he's okay, in perfect angle to play a cannon, should he so wish. He couldn't have played that any better. No, this is what Sean did a couple of frames ago. Got in, scored rapidly. He's definitely increased his pace of play. I do remember a match some years ago. 39. I think it was 8-5 down to Ali Carter, won four frames in a row doing exactly this. Green ball. There you see it, just 17 seconds average shot time during the course of this break. Fifty-four. 
42. Forty three. Needs to be a little careful here, not to overrun the cue ball. Well, that's not ideal. Fifty. Fifty one. Give a test on this black. It all depends if you can roll it in and avoid those two reds near the right hand side of the table. He's okay, but having to dig in. But right in the heart of the pocket. Wonderful shot. Considering the circumstances. Fifty eight. This is a tremendous visit so far. Fifty nine. Sixty six. That's the lead. So just a red and a color needed. Sixty seven. Well played, very well played. Thank you too. Well, the Milky's had a half chance, had the red to the left middle. But that's all he had in this frame. And this, at the moment, is as well as... Sean has hit the ball in this match so far. Eighty. And certainly sending a signal out to Robert Milkins. I'm not beat yet. Eighty seven. You give me a chance. 88. I'm going to take it. This has been a wonderful break. 93. Ninety-four. This black for the century, first one of the match. Great stuff, great stuff from Sean Murphy. Back against the wall, you wouldn't think so. And have them won. One hundred two. They say, Dominic, come as the hour, come as the man. Well, absolutely. If ever you wanted to put ultimate pressure on your opponent, this is the way to do it. One hundred and fourteen. <clears throat> Well, the brown hasn't gone in, but you won't see many better breaks than that. That was absolutely superb from Sean Murphy. Still on the brink, but now within one. 8-7, Robert Milkins.
Settle down, thank you. Sexy friend. Sean Murphy to break. So Sean Murphy breaking off for frame 16. It's not the best break off. There is definitely a chance of a long red here for Robert Milkins. Again. Did he just overhit that? Was pressure to blame there? Wasn't the smoothest strike. And had that cue ball not cannoned into the brown, Sean Murphy may have had a chance of his own. But you can forgive Robert Milkins a mistake like that because this pressure, well, it really is biting. And that's a mistake from Sean Murphy, went for the long red. Hits it on the fit side, the cue ball cannon, the blue. This is the chance that Robert Milkins has been craving. One. First chance to win frame, match and title. Yes. And as we've been discussing with all the bonuses, loads of money. But you've got to stay in the moment. As I suggested with Sean Murphy in the last frame. Just keep concentrating on one shot in front of you and see where it takes you. Absolutely, the positional aspect of this shot is critical. Blue is off its spot. Oh, that's the worst thing that could possibly have happened, and Rob Milkins is bitterly disappointed. Had he just glanced off those few reds, that cue ball could have been in position for this loose red. But as you can see, just miss cannoning into the red below the cue ball. Eight. And cannon the one above it, four ball, that's no good. Robin Milkins, eight. Well, he had a chance in the last frame. Didn't score anything. Good chance, this one. Only eight points to show for it. Well, that's not the best shot from Sean. Shouldn't have run into the green there. There's a pot on here for Robert. Well, let's see how he strikes this. Last long attempted pot. Dominic so rightly said. Hit at the ball rather than cued it. Needs to cue this. Milkins needs to realise that his opponent, Sean Murphy, is under just as much pressure because he knows that he can not afford a single mistake being within a frame of defeat. Sometimes when you're feeling the pressure, you just think it's yourself that are going through those emotions and you forget about how your opponent's feeling sometimes. As we said, expect Sean to be aggressive. In this type of situation, he probably thinks that attack is the best form of defence. But it's a fine line to be treading.
chance perhaps here for Sean to get the cube on the bolt cushion behind the yellow. Oh, the pace looks good and so is the line. This is a decent safety. Too thick. That's why he's only just about got past the bolt line and not reached the bolt cushion. A couple of pots on here for Sean. As I say, I can't see him refusing much. But of course, they still need potting. Well, oh. oh, what a fruit. What a fruit. That was well wide of the mark. Went in off the blue. That wasn't intended. And he's on the black perfectly. Oh, dear. Oh, if you Rob Milkins. Black ball. Well, it was never going to be easy, was it, Rob? What a fluke. What a time to get it. Eight. <clears throat> Nine. Eleven. That blue back onto its spot if he could. Players don't like it when other colours are in and around the black spot area. Well, he's gone to pop the red and open the others up, and he's missed the red. Oh, but Sean goodness, Murphy, how lucky has he been there? That's incredible. Well, here you go. Pressure, folks. Thank you. Well, once he's missed the red, how has he not left something easier? That ready miss came down and knocked the cue ball towards the top cushion. This red does go to left middle, but it's tough. But it's there. What a shot. One. And he's on the pink. And he gets his chance. He gets his chance. And this is better than the ones that have gone before. a terrific red from Robert Milkins and played it with full conviction. Had that not gone in, Sean Seven. Murphy was right amongst them again. Well, as you say, John, what a golden opportunity he's presented himself with here and Sean Murphy must be wondering if he'll get another opportunity. Eight. Yeah, just looking back at that ready knocked into the left middle. He played one this afternoon. Just as much pressure on it at the time. Just needed to avoid the kiss on that red near the top cushion. 13. He's still on, well, that red and the one to the right corner, but just a little bit careless. Pots to blue, doesn't get a cannon on the second red, he'd have been ideal. He's potted it. 40. Not perfect on the blue by any means. And he 
these pressure situations, you're looking for something easy, something you deem unmissable. He's okay. Sixty. Just about. These are pressure moments, Rob Milkins, though. What must be going through his mind? Thank oh, you. He's got Cannon perfectly. He's in any one position again here, Rob Milkins. Crisis averted. Straight on the black, decided to play for this red to the right. Before. Nothing to do with the cue ball. Potty, be perfect on the pink. 25. And he's perfect on the pink, believe me. Just to play a little screw shot for a choice of reds into the same pocket. 25. Didn't hold it as well as he might. 31. 32. But he's recovered the situation well. And at this venue, Cymru, you can hear a pin drop. 30. Played that nicely. 37. Thirty-eight. Just looking for four or five more pots now. Perhaps he's just the wrong side of straight on this black. He is. Well, he may well have to play now for the red that's against this right-hand side cushion near the corner pocket. You can just force the cue ball through for it. Doesn't want to be dead straight. That's not too bad. 45 46 50 points to lead one more red and a colour and it'll be two snookers needed for Sean Murphy and surely no way back Right in the heart of the pocket. Now he can think about celebrating. In goes the black. Biggest night of his life, snooker wise. 61. And he's held himself together. John Murphy, okay, he's not been on his best, but every credit to Robert Milkins for putting the disappointment early on in the match of falling behind, but stuck at it, never flinched, and now getting his just rewards. 64. Doesn't matter now. Next thing will be happening, if he misses the red, John Murphy will get out of his seat and shake his hand. What a performance by the Milton. 64. <laughs> and that's it. Give me a hand, Robert. Congratulations. There's going to be a lot of emotion. As I say, what a moment for Robert Milton's. And the way he's done it, and the way he kept in there, he hung in there. Nothing was going to deny him this greatest moment of his snooker playing life. And he beats. A Sean Murphy, who looked unbeatable during the week, but he never believed that.
and he's produced the performance of his life and he wins the Bet Victor Welsh Open by nine frames to seven and everything that goes with it. fantastic final here this evening so first of all can you just show your appreciation for our two finalists Robert Milkins and Sean Murphy <laughs> many commiserations I mean you have played your part in a brilliant final here I mean how, how are you feeling though after that Ah, listen, you know, obviously disappointed. Uh, I didn't have my best today, that's without question. But I just want to take a moment to, to just make a point. What a fabulous crowd they've been all week. It's been unbelievable. And, um, you know, Wales, Wales is a very special place for me in my snooker journey from being a young pro. I learnt my trade down in the south of Wales. I've spent lots of time up here. I've had success here. So Wales is a very special place to me. Thank you so much for all your support. It's been brilliant. Well, I think they've enjoyed it. They've enjoyed watching you. We've enjoyed watching you. Of course, you gave us that wonderful 147 in the week. A very gracious loser this evening. But, you know, when you look back on this game, you were leading 2-0. You were 3-1 up. What was going through the head at those points? Ah, I mean, you know, you're just trying to push on and take one shot at a time and one frame, all those old cliches. But as I say, you know, I, I just didn't have my best. I, I made far too many unforced errors uh, and Rob picked up the pieces. There's no question about that. I couldn't have tried any harder. You know, I left it all out there. I could have played a bit better, <laughs> but um, I just, you know, I, I just didn't really, didn't really have it today. And um, all credit to Rob. He was by far the better player. Yeah, you certainly... Um... You certainly, uh, you certainly did come out fighting after the interval, and you know you had a one-one-four. But as you say, Robert Milkins, you know, what, was just just better tonight. Yeah, just better all through the day. You know, these long matches like this, the best of sevens are a bit of a short sprint, but a seventeen, a nineteen, they don't tell lies. Uh, and on the day, Rob was by far the better player. He fully deserved the victory, and I wish him many, many congratulations. And as far as you're concerned, obviously with the World Championships coming up in April. Where does this leave you? Gives you more confidence? Maybe you can do well there in Sheffield? Yeah, well, I, you know, I do still believe, I've said it all week, my game is going in the right direction. I think a win is just right round the corner. I got very close tonight. Uh, it wasn't to be. Players' champs next week. And, of course, you know, if I can get myself in the tour champs, that would be great prep for the World Championships. But, you know, I feel like I'm going in the right direction. just wasn't to be today. Well, we've had some magic from the magician this evening, haven't we, Sean? Uh, many commiserations. Tonight's runner-up, ladies and gentlemen, it is Sean Murphy. Robert Wilkins, you are the Welsh Open champion. Many congratulations. How does that sound? I can't even speak. It's um, it's unreal, really. Um, all through the day, I was sort of struggling a bit, like same as Sean. We were both struggling. Um, obviously, I had a lot of reasons to struggle. It was a lot of money to me, that is. And uh, <laughs> you, you know, I, I just try, I try to not think about it. But it, it just, it. To be fair, I played all right in the evening, but um. To start off with today, it was really hard work, and um, if Sean would have been pretty much 20% of his game, I I'm sure he'd have took a lead into going in tonight. Yeah. I mean, your second ranking title, you won the Gibraltar last year. What does it mean to get the your hands on this trophy in just a few moments? Oh, it's unreal. I mean, obviously, Gibraltar um, was brilliant. That was the first one. Um, but beating somebody like Sean in a best of 17 in a final, even if he didn't play well, is, um, is, is just... The icing on the cake, you know, it's, it's unreal, really, because you, you have to, you have to play well to beat somebody like Sean or play, play fairly decent, and um, I think I did in the end. And should we talk about the money then? You mentioned it. <laughs> You're obviously going to get the trophy, and you get a hundred and fifty thousand pounds as well for winning the Bet Victor series. It's not a bad week's work, is it? Two hundred and thirty thousand pounds. What does that mean to you? I mean, is that a life-changing sum of money? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is definitely. Um, it's just a dream, really. Um, I, I lost. I lost in the semis in Germany to Ali Carter, and all I was 
thinking was about the Players' Championship, and I thought, oh, I've got to go for it all again here, do all the hard work, get to a semi. And I've got to the semi, and then obviously the pressure comes on even more, you know, not only just the bonus, um, but the, um, the trophy is more, more important to me. And, um, you know, I'm just so glad I, I got there in the end. You, well, you got there, you certainly got there, and your three kids are here this evening. What does it mean to have them with you? They might want to spend a little bit of that money for you. Yeah, it's, um, it's great, actually. I'm surprised she's still up the little one. But, um, yeah, can I just say thanks to a couple of people? Um, first of all, I'd like to thank um, Mount Hall, where I practice, Paul Mount.